What's going on everybody? C4 here and today I am looking for your guys' feedback. These are the best videos because it makes you guys feel super duper important, right? So we are now into the football offseason and that's kind of where I start to dominate as a channel with all my draft content, be it, be it full 7 round mock drafts for all 32 teams, just mock drafts in general, draft prospects, talking about free agency and how it's going to impact the draft, stuff like that, but that's football videos. Coming back to Madden, it's also the Madden offseason and looking at what we have on the road to Madden 19, I kind of only really have two series. I have the C4 uh, NCAA Road to Glory, which we're gonna definitely gonna continue that. See what happens there. Uh, I'm gonna involve, you know, maybe a lot more storylines, make it more personable, if you will. And then once we finish that, we might take our chances in the NFL. That that's definitely a way we can expand that series. And we have the Black Knights relocation franchise mode, which I absolutely love, man. That is definitely one of the the best series I've ever done on YouTube. There's incredible, incredible depth to it. There's so many rookies and stuff like that. Um, and I'm really, really glad that that's getting the support. Plus, that also kind of feeds off into like a little bit of a stream series because I can edit the videos and present it that way. Or we can just, you know, kick it and do a live stream. So that's definitely something I like. But we have the realistic rebuilds, right? And there's only six or seven teams left. That's like just over a month left of rebuilds. And I, I kind of want you know that team building aspect you know what i'm saying i get the game i kind of have the team building and i kind of have the gameplay from the black knights but just in terms of just sitting down and trying to build teams there's a there's a void there so someone hit me up on twitter i'm gonna i'm gonna put the tweet here just so it's not like oh i'm trying to make something up and rip off someone and, and he said that the 2k uh series people that play you know the basketball games there's a couple of different guys that do this thing called ultimate rebuild season or something and essentially what it is, is you, you rebuild one team. So I'll start with the Philadelphia Eagles. I do a two, three-year rebuild. And then once that team is built up, no matter what I did with them, I retire and I move on to the next team. So kind of like the Chip Kelly rebuilds, except we're not drunk and we're actually trying and we're not trying to have, you know, gay love storylines with Clay Matthews and Juju Smith-Schuster and stuff like that. If you've never seen a Chip Kelly rebuild, you're going to think I'm absolutely insane. But um, I really like this idea. And I, and I posted on Twitter and I got a lot of feedback that you guys want to see me potentially do something like this. But I want to make it different. Like I said, man, uh, you know, there's the whole stigma of, you know, people saying, oh, they ripped off my idea, this and that, this and that. And, uh, you know, if they, there's been anyone on YouTube that's been ripped off, at least in the Madden community, it's probably been me more than anyone. And, I mean, ultimately, it's, it's good for the culture. I literally, as long as you don't word for word take what I'm doing and you put your own spin on it, then it's it's just inspiration, man. It's the worst thing right now going on YouTube. Every time I go on Twitter, it's just five, six, seven, eight, almost, I would say... There's a, like a dozen of people that I constantly see by likes and retweets saying, oh my god, they're ripping off my stuff. It's like, bro, grow up. What are you, seven? As long as they're not doing work for what you're doing, then you're just inspiring more content for this thriving community that definitely needs a, a shot to the arm. And when I see this suggestion, hey, look at this 2K guy doing this. I don't want to do exactly what he's doing. I want to try to put my own spin on things. And that's why I want your guys' feedback. How would you like to see me do this whole two-year rebuild, two, three-year rebuild, move on to the next team to make it stand out. I have a couple ideas. We could probably um, ballpark it right now. And, and I'm, at the end of the day, looking for you guys to reply in the comments with what maybe something you want to see in this. But ultimately, I think there's a defin definitely a couple ways we could go. One way is I could just use Legends rosters. I could start off by using Re Legends rosters. Everyone's really good, which kind of helps it so much in the rebuild because obviously all the teams are super sick. How are you going to make them better? It's going to be more so... Uh, trading and stuff like that. So you'd have Don McNabb on the Eagles play with that. And then maybe when I move to the Vikings, I still want to keep Don McNabb. I find a way to trade for him and bring him over. But I mean, there's not so much of a team rebuild there. So that might not be for everybody. Um, I was going to say, someone gave me a great idea. Start with the 2005 rosters and then work your way up. So that way there, I could redraft. It'd be like a half redraft series for different teams. Half, you know, team building, right? But of course, all these cool rosters, I saw like someone on Operation Sports had a 2005 roster, a 2006 roster. It's all on PlayStation. Can't find any of that stuff on Xbox. So unless you guys have a, have a, you can plug me, be Nick the plug for a little bit and hook me up with one of those rosters, or you're working on a roster yourself and you want to hook me up with your gamer tag, that is definitely the way I would like to do it, but I, I don't think it's feasible on Xbox. And there's no way in hell I have time to replicate a roster. So if there's someone out there that's an absolute diehard and wants to see me do this so bad, uh, you can go on maddenratings.weebly.com and they have every Madden rating for every single game. If you want to somehow go through the, the painstaking task of replicating those rosters on Xbox, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to give you something. I'll give you a shirt or something like that when I do merch. Uh, but that's definitely the way I would like to do it. Or we can just, you know, do it plain Jade. Just do it with the base rosters and see what happens. It, it does not make it be a whole lot of room to use rookies and stuff like that, which is the, the rebuild approach that I like to do. 
But it's definitely something that I think would be interesting to do. So, you know, every time I've asked for feedback from you guys, you've given me outstanding feedback and given, like, when I did the Spin the Rebuild series, you guys give me great ideas for that. And uh, hopefully they can continue here. I was also thinking maybe do an NCAA Dynasty. A lot of people, you know, constantly say, do the North Dakota State Bison Rebuild again or whatever the Dynasty mode. And I definitely like doing that. And I do think I do want to play a lot more NCAA. And maybe I'm not getting all my fix from just doing the C4 player career. And eventually, once we graduate, and if we do take my player career to the NFL, then that means I'm no longer playing NCAA. So I was thinking we can maybe at some point down the road rejuvenate the Dynasty. And it doesn't have to be North Dakota State. I was thinking maybe... Just maybe because of the awesomeness that is the NCAA 14 team builder, I could take a Canadian university and that could be what we built. As a Canadian, I would love to see that. So I could take a Canadian university, put them in the NCAA and see what happens. I think that would definitely be something that's kind of cool. If you guys think that's dope, let me know. But more importantly, because that's kind of on the back burner for now, let me know what you think about this ultimate rebuild league kind of idea and give me any suggestions or any help that you can help me with. Uh, that would be absolutely dope. So uh, looking for your feedback, guys. As always, thanks for all the love and continued support. And until next time, it's E4, saying peace.